What is up everyone? I hope you all been having a great month. I am so sorry. I just graduated from school. Everything's cool now. I can get back to trying to do things again, making videos, editing, all that great stuff. Having issues, but that's nothing new. Anyways, we're going in straight into this raw rogue dungeons. And we're going to go to a new dimension in this episode. We're just going to do every dimension we can. This one's the Aether, the Sky Dimension. It is amazing. It is beautiful. And the music just... Mwah, I won't even have to add any. Or I don't think I would. There's a whole lot of cool bosses, a whole lot of cool items and weapons. Everything's great. You're going to love it. And we are stupid OP. If you haven't seen the last couple episodes. Look at this. The only issue is we start from the sky, but look at that. We get a golden parachute. And then we get a book that just tells us lore about every item that's in this land. That's really neat. Now what you're about to see is my first test in trying to jump into the new islands. But clearly I didn't engage the distance and didn't really think the golden parachute would just not float and just float me down. That was kind of stupid of me. Uh, yeah, but hey, it shows, though, something really cool. If you fall from the sky in that dimension, you just go back to the ground. A pelican snatches you and saves you. So I find that pretty neat. Okay, now we're getting serious. We are now in the Aether, on the islands. It's beautiful, and if you can't hear the music... Just listen to that. Very magical, very majestic. Ah. Oh. And then all these new plants and blocks and all the ore types you're going to find. Like, those are blueberries. Even though kind of just like blue shiny apples. Then we're going to bring the berry bushes home. We have a lot of items we're going to be getting. There's going to be two main bosses. And one you're going to find really cool, which she is my favorite. Only because I like the characters. I like the history on them as well. And I don't know. They kind of cute. Might try to see if I can use one of my mob catchers and bring one home. I mean, we have a wizard, might as well have this other thing that you'll see soon. And yeah, this book of lore literally just tells you anything and everything about items in this land. It's cool. Any practical use I haven't found yet, but hey, it's cool. Alright, here's the dungeon. This, my friends, is in the sky. It is the Valkyrie's dungeon. The Valkyrie's castle, I don't know what you want to call it. But, it's filled to the brim with loot. I don't even know if this is the first or should be the last boss you fight. But there's so many chests. There's also a lot of mimics. Which is just chests that turn into an enemy. They do not drop you anything either. So that's a real pain. But, there's plenty of other things in this building. Like, look at all this. Xanite boots. We had a Moa egg. We have a bunch of these cool torches. We've been collecting a lot of items. A couple new weapons you're going to see. Plus, every boss, when you kill him, has a treasure chest. And you get a key from him. From the bosses you killed. It ranks from bronze to gold. And each variant gives you something different. Bronze is, of course, the weakest. And then gold will give you the best loot. And then here they are. The Valkyries. Aren't they just beautiful? Strong? Magnificent? I want to bring one home. And you're supposed to kill these for medals. Because you get victory medals. Or a chance to get victory medals. And you need 10 for uh, something special you'll be seeing shortly as well. Which by far is my favorite. I don't even know if it's a boss or if it's a mini boss. 
I'm going to assume it's a boss because this is a quest lined one. Uh, I'm trying to fit all my loot in here. Very, very poor choice in bringing a lot of my stuff. Tisk, tisk. And here we are, the main attraction. This is the Valkyrie Queen's main lair. It is beautiful. You get a little bit of dialogue from them. It will tell you just a little bit about what this place is, which is apparently a sanctuary for Valkyries. There's golden trees, there's a golden sapling, and if you want to fight her, you need to get 10 medals, victory medals, which is from winning fights against the Valkyries. Hence the ones that spawn and swarm you. You need 10 of those. And by far that was so annoying. I made sure to cut out almost everything. Because getting those medals were a pain. A lot of uh, special Valkyries, a lot of basics. Uh, it's not really hard, it's just tedious and it ain't fun to watch. So don't worry, we get rid of that real quickly. And we'll be getting them 10 medals in no time. The power of editing. Just just watch me fumble for a bit, don't worry, it'll switch shortly, I swear. I'll disappear. Oh, wow, look at that, 10 medals, that's crazy, woo! Ah, oh, man, that was really tough. All right, now here we are. This is where the fight begins. And you get to have the first swing, which, she really isn't that hard. No crazy abilities, no nothing, she just comes at you. Also sends like a thunderball after you as well. Or maybe I just killed her fast enough so I didn't get to see too much. But, you know, there's not much to comment on. I tried to do a couple shots, but I realized it was very slow to do that. And then the ball also just deflects it. Can't kill it, it can only hurt you. It'll go off and shoot a lightning strike, as you can see. And I mean, the Valkyrie does give some hits. It does. She does damage. The Queen knows what she's doing. Which I want the armor and the wings so badly. But in the end, I have just become super strong with all the stuff I've been collecting and finding. And this is even half the stuff we can get. We can get stronger. We can get better stuff. And we still have an airship to build. Since episode one of my idea to build an airship, we had no items, no nothing. Now, we have all the parts we could ever want. We could take to the skies. But we have to wait for another episode on that. Oh, yes we do. There's many, many things we still need to do. And, there's stuff I've been working on which is the embers mod lots of machines lots of complexity really hurts my head especially when there's no guide learning all this from scratch and from videos I don't quite understand too well but oh man does it create some strong stuff and as you can tell ah uh, my inventory was full so I never got the key which means I couldn't open up this first loot chest treasure so, I assumed it was broken and I didn't know what to do. Really a shame, there could have been something really good in it. Now we're on to the second boss that I have found, after scounging the earth. Or not even the earth, the skies. It's a very small, small dungeon. The boss is literally in like the third room. But, there's a couple chests, too bad most of mine were mimics. And then we got... Some Xanite stuff, pretty neat, got a dart. None of it by far is as good as what I got, but it's always cool to get. Love collecting. Couple more loot, 
all these mimics is ridiculous. But you'll see, here he is. This is the boss slider. Can you guess what it does? Oh, and you gotta fight with your pickaxe. Luckily, mine is slightly strong and has some buffs. But, as you can tell, this is the boss. It's an eyeball that moves in the pattern. This is the hardest by far, only because it seems to clip you. It also chases you down like a chess piece. And, uh... I don't know, something about it just staring at you, as well as you having to circle it so it doesn't just entrap you, is a lot harder than running away from a very, very upset Valkyrie. We're just going to speed this up. dead oh that was great great fight very great let's see what Ludi gives us that's what we all want to hear and see I want to see what we're gonna get from this and look at and then you know what easy boss I want to keep finding him if I can keep getting keys from him oh we're in business now let's see what his treasure gives us see I was still a bit confused but boom keys in and we get flaming sword the shield of repulsion and the cloud staff which the cloud staff is really cool and the shield of repulsion is also really cool because there's a whole other ui i've never touched up on where we could put all these extras and valkyrie bits on us and capes that gives us also certain abilities like agility invisibility flaming tnt oh it's amazing we always can just get stronger on top of the fact, we still haven't even gotten the max bobble rings we can ever collect and the strongest ones we can obtain. So we're not even close to our true potential. And we're still beating these bosses. And look at it. my I get two little happy derpy clouds next to me. And I just get to shoot stuff at it. Kind of reminds me of the shulker boxes, but hey... We now have technically two turrets on our shoulders. It's amazing. Two little buddies. What should we name them? Should they even get a name? They're not technically pets. Eh, you know what? We'll figure out a name for them. A jump cut here and there, and boom, here we are. We are at the third boss. I don't know if it's the final boss in this dimension. I never even knew there was even these things here. But this is a really unique one, and one that I have failed to kill. Not because I lost, but because I got so annoyed and angry that I kind of just quit trying to fight it. I'm going to speed this up as well, because I don't even get to damage it. It is a whale boss, a flying whale. But it can't be taken down with projectiles, and... Melee hits don't work except for certain points in time, which I still don't understand why. And nothing is giving me a clear answer online of how to kill the thing. So we have that greatness to go for as well. It's fun. Lots of fun. Yeah, we cut that fight real short. But, this is our final thing we're doing. It's nothing unique. It is just the same boss again. But, I just want to see what we can get with the loot. Because we get a couple of Xenite items. We get a couple of these spells. None of them of my use. At this point, we are just beyond any of them. Plus, we don't have anyone in this world. Yet. 
to use the player teleporters. So we're going to go down these halls. And we're going to fight Slider Boy. And now we're going to be able to do more damage to him. And you want to know why? Well, good. I don't either. But we did way more damage than last time. But hey. Always fun to watch him die. My add like a little bit of a oof sound effect or a little bit of the, uh, the oh, oh no or I don't know. What, what, make it somewhat interesting. Oh no, he's dead! Oh well, more loot for me! And this music really makes me feel special. We get an Ajodi cape, some more flaming swords, and the Valkyrie lances. Which, I don't need any more flaming swords, but I would gladly take the Valkyrie lance. And now we're done. We have completed the dungeon. We'll be heading out and heading home. Really soon. Just had to slap a couple ducks or whatever this thing is. That's a cockatrice. I don't know what it is, but it's dead. And now we're gonna fly down because we don't have to teleport. And we're home! Kinda. We need to get there first. Now we're home! Alright! That is now done. We have two portals. We went to two dimensions and collected its goods. Each one still, though, has plenty, plenty more to find. And I'll leave all the boring bits out, but I will gladly make a whole video of its own like I did with the Between Lands. Make it all special and cool. And look at all this. All this XP and gold we're getting. All these levels. We completed so much. If you can't even see our XP down there, we went up to 132, 143, 153, or 52, my bad. We are above any normal XP. We're practically rich. But like I said, this is not even the beginning. This is pre- this is the prelude to this life, to this world, because there's some things that'll be oh so valuable. As you can tell, that dimension can get us a regenerative stone, and you already know why that's strong. As I take off my invisibility cloak and with these beautiful Valkyrie gauntlets, I want you all to have a good one. Sorry I was gone. Graduation's over. I am a graduate. More crazy to come. Better games. See ya.